Okay, well, welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our lesson four, which is about LO4. Uh, my name is Anjum Sathar and my email address is anjum at ukversity.co.uk. Uh, uh, LO4 is about be able to interpret a financial statement and make justified recommendation for the business stakeholders. As we discussed, we were in our LO4 as well, even LO1. Four types of statement we prepare. We based on the financial statement, the financial information we have are will be so that we can make the decision. And decision making means the selecting the best course of action, best option. So stakeholders mean anybody who has any interest in the business is called stakeholders. Stakeholders mean anybody who has any interest in the business is a stakeholder. So what about the shareholder? Is there any difference between shareholder and stakeholders? Um, uh, well, uh, shareholder is a stakeholder, yes. Yeah. Share um, the uh, difference uh, is um, the shareholder is also kind of a owner of the company. Indirectly, they are the owners of the company, yes. Brilliant, great. So shareholders are the owner of the company, shareholders also stakeholders, but not all the stakeholders are the shareholders. Stakeholders mean anybody who has any interest in the business is a stake, yes. that is a, uh, due to the action of the company, that policies of the company will affect their interests. So yes. that's those are the stakeholders. And they're very keen to lo look around the company's information a report yeah. on CSR, a report on corporate sustainability, corporate governance, and even other financial statement and financial information. Those are all the stakeholders, the lenders, suppliers, customer. So which will so we can yeah. So we discuss four types of statements. Uh, this we have indicative content. What we supposed to be learn, which is more focus about the working capitals. Uh, we can even micro companies, FRS2, uh, FRS5, I not included, but I'll, I'll send you the stuff you know to read as well. Stakeholders, uh, these are all the stakeholders which I just mentioned. So when we look the interpret financial statement using the ratio analysis, uh, interpreting financial statement, of course, is very important, which helps you know user to make a uh, decision and get the right information and use according to their requirement, and that you know help you know the companies and the stakeholders to look around the company's performance as well. So ratio analysis is a simple calculation based on interaction in the set of data, two types of data here. Yeah. One we yeah, looking like you know if we want to be liquidity ratios current asset divided by current so we have a relationship between current asset and current liabilities yes short term and yeah short term asset short term liabilities so that's we there are the limitation maybe ratios look wonderful before the covid 19 but the covid 19 really impact you know so maybe we'll look the ratios seen yeah. okay but we need to look around the microeconomic environment as well, always, you know, when we'll make the decision. So we always good to be look around political, economic, social, and technological environment and look around, you know, how these will are recent new government in power, what their manifesto, what their policies will be towards the company, towards the corporate sector. So yeah. like in the labor, maybe injecting more money in the different industries may be conservative is thinking to reduce the uh, deficit budget of the country. Yeah. So they have maybe a short term and two different, you know, manifesto and two different thinking and those can be impact on the companies. So we can look around both, you know, political parties, I suppose, in terms of UK. Major categories, how we can categorize the ratios into four. Liquidity, we know use of resource, uh, those yeah. are current ratios. Uh, then we have a financial position ratio, which is also gearing and interest cover ratios that show the yeah. company position, how much owned by yourself or lenders. Profitability, yeah. which shows uh, 
margin, gross profit margin, operating profit margin, earning before interest and tax, and various return on capital implied. Then use of resources, also known as efficiency ratios. How efficient do we convert? Like trade receivable, how many days, you know, and inventories and uh, yeah. payables and all, you know, which we can discuss right. play these ratios under the use of resources. Okay, so we have all the formulas given. Yeah. I can give you a separate slide if you want, you know, the formula sheet, but all these formulas yeah. can use. Return on capital implied with profit from operation divided by total assets that can be before tax, after tax, we can cross profit, specific expense like admin. How much is admin expense against the revenue? So we can set the benchmark like you know admin expense not will be more than ten percent of the revenue goes yeah, yeah. towards you know. So we can make a lot of decision based on these uh, inventory turnover ratio. It can be in days. It can be how many times inventory be in turnover. Uh, yeah. Trade payable always should be shorter than the trade payable because that's why we have a safety net and they. Yeah. Uh, want to be find the working capital cycle so current asset uh, trade receivable in days plus inventory turnover days minus trade payable days so we can find you know one cycle how long it takes you know so revenue and totals these are all in the ratios we can calculate any question no this, this is fine this is fine yeah Okay. So here, financial statement, the main objective of financial statement, help user to make the economic decision. Users are external of the business need to interpret the financial statement, understand the financial performance, profitability, financial position, liquidity, and use of resources. We can calculate the ratio, but always good to be compared to two years and compare industries. Look around against your competitors. Look around the industry average. Look around maybe our company size. If we'll compare Tesco with the maybe Lidl, so Tesco is bigger than still compared to Lidl. So it's quite you know. So we need to look around the size as well. We need to look around, understand the nature of the business. So oh. sometimes it can be compared cross industries ratios as well, like in oh. the. You know, people say 400% return, yes, yeah. but what all about? So we need to be look around which industry we are, which industry good to be invest, what their ratios are, and we can make the decision based on. Okay, yeah. then uh, these are all the ratios and then interpretation about return on capital implied, the mayor, the rate of return made by the company on the both loan debt capital and the share capital, it judge, you know, the profit earned in relation to the resources available. That's we can and different formulas we can use to calculate. Uh, yeah. Profitability ratios also we can look around. If we look at the return on equity, always you calculate after the tax because the yeah. tax equity always after the tax. But when we look the finance, so interest, is is expense so we need to be look around which source of finance will impact you know our return because that also help us in terms of saving taxes and things as well hmm. okay so we can look around asset turnover ratio liquidity the benchmark current asset divided by current liability two to one normally most of analysts says you know it's a better to be two to one two pound worth of asset current asset and two for one pound worth of current liability is fine. The company liquid position will be sound. But yeah. this is not the, it can be varies industry to industry, like, you know, in a food or yeah. test. And more recent, when we compare, this is normally is less than, hmm. less than two, because, you know, they just uh, frequent goods moving around and they always have a liability more than because they were always, you know, paying in even 12 months time and but their asset carry on. They don't want to keep the inventory long. Yeah. And the quick ratios, quick is the most liquid. It's liquid mean is near to cash or cash itself. Current asset minus inventory because inventory is sometimes not liquid, maybe outdated. Maybe people not buy it. Maybe inventory will obsolete. So that's why we need to make sure 
we minus the inventory and then we can calculate. So this the benchmark is one to one, one pound worth of assets, one pound worth of liability. But this also varies industry to industry. So when you integrate it, we can't say it's bad. We can compare with the competitors. We can look around the industry average and then we can say is it performance and we can compare at least two years and then we right. can we can compare in economics environment as well yes and uh, then inventory turnover cost of sale divided by inventories we can our uh, inventory turnover days trade receivable days and all this we can interpret and working capital cycle we can calculate Okay, so financial position gearing ratio as you know in driving when we drive in a high gear, what will be happen? Is a high risk, yes? Yeah, so, high high risk. Risk. High risk. so if we yeah. have a gearing ratio high, it means high risk. So normally yeah. is acceptable level is around 60 40. Yeah, 60 percent debt and 40 percent equity financing because yeah. equity is expensive, shareholder yeah. all expect around 10 or more than 10 percent return yes. but if you get you can get because the base rate at the moment is 0.01 percent in the uk so we can borrow money around two less than two even interest rate yes. so which is a cheaper source of finance but the when because inflation is around three percent and two percent yes. interest that make five and then value, present value of the money is also decreased as well. So people are expecting around 10% in term of dividend value yeah, because yeah. they are bearing the risk as well. Uh, yeah. Thus, you know, we can look around the gearing. Interest cover ratios always, it means the finance cost, we can, uh, this ratio is mostly used by the lenders. So if they want to lend, you know, if the profit from operation is many times higher than the finance cost and interest cost we call, so is the company's most care. In the following years, it's dropped two times, three times. So still, the, if it is a 10 times, two times it dropped, still mean eight times we'll earn the profit. So yeah. risk is a, is a lower. So this again, we can compare industry to industry. We can compare previous years and then we can make the decision either to invest or not invest or carry on with the so that's we need to look around okay so for the sake of example we included two companies here i already calculated the ratios we have anika and papika we look around the company their ratios uh, gross profit divided by sales sales also known as revenue turnover is the same thing Sales also called revenue, sales also called turnover. So it's yeah. different accounting standard, international accounting standard, we use the word revenue. But the local standard, we use the word turnover and some we use the word sales. But these are the same things. So 45 and 52, operating yeah. profit 9 and 11, gearing is 13 and 71, and alternative, we have a two gearing formula, debt divided by debt plus equity, because the, when we have a long-term debt, we can use towards investment. That's why we do that formula. And other is a gearing debt divided by equity itself. So what do you think? Which company will go ahead according to the ratios? Um, well, um, Anika is much better play, okay? Um, well, what I would see is because the gearing is um, much, much comfortable. And uh, in terms of the difference from the gross profit ratio and operating profit ratio uh, versus uh, Papaka Limited, the difference is not much, but the risk involved in Papaka is quite high. So if you are a risk taker person, yes? What do you yeah. think the company you will? Um, even with the risk taker, uh, the, the performance is not so high, okay, uh, compared to Anika. Uh, it's not even more than 10%. It's just 7% uh, higher than in terms of the gross profit ratio. So risk is high, but returns are not that much higher comparatively. Okay, excellent. So it means, you know, on the basis of this, we can prefer to go for a NECA instead of a PICA, yes. even, either, yes. even because this yes. is not represent, this is a credit sales. I can yes. say buy no pay in five years people are willing to buy yes 
Yeah, five, yeah. We are not getting five year cash. We are equally losing the money. Hmm. So it's no point. Yeah. Need to be very careful. It's okay. good point. Well said. Yeah. Okay. So interest cover is this is eleven time eleven point six time. Here no Papika is only three point one. So Anika hmm. is more secure, less risky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. customer is 1.2 and this is 0 0.65. Yeah. So again, Anika is coming overall per value. Right. Right. So based on these, all ratios at company performance may be compared with the previous period, past period. We can look around current. We can do horizontal, yes, across industries. Yeah. All we can use this industry average can be used as the major element of measurement. And uh, when we consider, we can look around the business plans as well for future. Yes, we can do the SWOT analysis for trends, weakness, opportunities, and threats for the particular company. Uh, we can look around and cross compare. And uh, who is the director? New what the corporate social responsibility report? What is the sustainability report? What is the going concern? And uh, we can look around different people's view, and these different people use ratio differently, and they yeah. make the decision. So, of course, investor help you know to determine whether to hold or sell the shares. Same way, lenders and suppliers and all they can make their decision based on, and they need yeah. information from the financial statement, and based on justify the recommendation based on the financial statement and ratios. So Papika's is better, Papika is better, Anika, Anika, Anika. Yes, according to other ratios and overall we draw the conclusion. So in that case, Anika is the best company and you're suggesting which one is the best. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can even mention the limitation of the ratio need to be, you can mention limitation and I'm not sure we learn about this called balance scorecard. Have we learned about? Balance scorecard. Yes, yes, learned about this. Yes, not used much, but have learned about this. So we can look around the financial perspective, learning perspective, yes, research yeah. and development perspective. So all these, you know, we can look, uh, look around in the balance scorecard, different perspective, and then we can make the decision. Right. Okay. This is, we have, and uh, then, we have next, you know, our merit criteria is analyze the current issues in the financial reporting. Uh, there are a number of issues in the financial reporting. Financial reporting not reflecting sometimes true and fair information. Yes, mm. always mm. using the estimates. Those are not appropriate. And uh, mm. they're not showing contingent liability right. And they mm. are very creative. So what do you think what happened with them? Well, all of them have folded, isn't it? it is, they cannot continue long in that manner. You cannot juggle around because there are too many balls, and one ball falls, everything crumbles. <laughs> yes, so if we look in why this is Enron scandal back in, what's happened yeah. with them? Shareholders lost 74 billion, man yeah. plays were penalties, how did the audit work? Yes. Why not? Yeah. Or under and overestimated, same way, World Telecom, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So the under and the frauds happen, and then American insurance scandal back in, yeah. and Lehman Brothers. Yeah. So we yeah. have a trillion companies, which we mentioned pension fund issues, under and overestimated yeah. figures again. Uh, why, of course, accountant always job to be, but people are creative accounting that's why I created the standard international accounting mm -hmm. standard we need to keep in mind yes look around yeah. cross industry more regulation of course more regulation especially trees are made government lot of emphasis in the corporate governance representation of non-executive directors and the workers and the union members and the various stakeholders not just yeah. you know people you are a board director Barclay Bank not on the penny profit back in 2016, but the Barclay Bank CEO being paid two million bonus. Hmm. So that's money is the shareholders and the 
CEO is getting two million bonus without performance from the company. Yes, so yes. you're a CEO. You're supposed to be make the plans and the company work, and then it's fine. You know, justified is oh yes, I'm getting bonus, but my yes. policy help you know the company, but without earning, getting and not giving the clear shares to the workers. That's that's why is a huge discussion is happening yes. on the corporate governance. A common methods of accounting manipulations that can be happen in the in creative accounting. Uh, creative accounting is more about ethical issues carry on coming, more towards focus on ethics and that's you know creative accounting use and manipulation. That's you know uh, I copied the link for you as well. Useful link for financial statement manipulated and why. Is ACCA and all others in Westopedia. Normally we don't use, but for the sake of you know, just for reading purposes, but not for the reference for assignment. Uh, and then I copied some question if you want to look around, you know, for ratio, just yeah. use formulas from the yeah. chapter 7, 7.1, 7 yeah. and the answer booklet is already on Moodle, will be on Moodle as well. So you can use them when we'll prepare, you know. Assignment so we can code some examples. Yeah. Any questions? No, no, that was good. Uh, just one thing uh, in the stakeholders when we discussed, okay, why we do not consider the tax authorities, say HMRC in our case, as a stakeholder. The HMRC is a stakeholders. Maybe we just not mention for because the ah. stakeholders can be wired list. The HMRC yeah. very interested in profit, very interested in tax yeah. figure. Yeah. Yes, what profit you have, what tax you give. True, so, true. Yeah, they, true. They're very yeah. keen you know, to look around and the rules, you know, towards and your tax calculations as well. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. so they are stakeholders and very yeah. major stakeholders. So maybe we we just pick, you know, few those were yeah. in terms of that companies. Yeah. yeah. So we not yeah. pick. Here, HMRC, right. but we right. put right. a government agency, no? which is covers yeah. HMRC. Right. Yeah. That is right. Yeah, that is right. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So, any question? No, Anjum. Thank you very much, Anjum. Thank You're you. Very welcome. So, we'll keep up to here, and the next uh, lesson will be about assignment discussion, how we can prepare, and yeah. I'll try to find you know some old assignment, quite yeah. relevant help you to prepare so please in a meanwhile it's a good website to look around the Kaplan type yeah. any words and next to that if you write the Kaplan you will find a lot of resources ACC yeah. article on financial ratios interpretation financial statement yeah. many articles if you type ACC a global and uh, interpretation or interpret you know financial statement article and next to that if you write the word PDF so you can find more PDF format eh? so yeah. You know, that's yeah. other schema website is quite good. Other good yeah. website, open tuition. If you want to download the handout, like yeah. FSEC exam, of ACCA or advanced bookkeeping of ACCA, uh, yeah. advanced financial reporting, you know, ACC as well. You can sign through open tuition. And it's a free website, a lot of lessons as well there. And if you want to use them, you can as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Thanks for listening and attending, guys. Anyone, any question, drop me email and hope you and I'll speak to you during our next lesson, which will be about assignment discussion. Thank oh, you. Thank Bye -bye. you very much. Thank you, Anjum. Thank you.